Frank. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Shot by Mike C, checking in. Now, if you're watching this video, hopefully I have successfully uploaded this video to the right page. Let me see if I can fix the camera. I'm going to leave the camera right there. Hopefully I have uploaded this video to the right page. I have two YouTubes, but one of them I don't use. <clears throat> so it occurred to me that fast forward in my life, I collect Funko Pops. So maybe I should turn this page into a Funko Pop review page. Um, and I'm into photography. Go follow my photography page. Shop by Mike C on IG. Um, I mean, yeah, pretty much. I like Funko Pops. Um, a lot of people are into them now that I would have never expected to be into them. I'm into them now, and I would have never expected to be into them. Shout out to Bedrock Funko. Give y'all a quick little story. Um, I got friends that I'm cool with, Bedrock Funko being one of them. And he asked me, um, you know, we just talking, we just shooting, a, shooting, a, shooting or whatever. I'm trying not to cuss on this page. And he's like, man, do you collect Funko Pops? I'm like, uh, you know, what are, what are Funko Pops? And he was like, I got them little, like, action figures that, that came out. I was like, man, I think I got a couple. Now, I used to collect WWE Elite action figures. They cost $20 a pop. I got out the game because it was just too expensive. Like, spending $20 every time you buy an action figure. Now, you might catch a deal every now and then, but... It's rare, but sometimes Toys R Us used to uh, throw deals or Myers. Shout out to both of them establishments. But I was like, um, yeah, I used to shop at Fye. Um, it used to be at Fye in Genesee Valley Mall. Um, it's closed now, but I do remember me going to Fye and buying a couple Funko Pops. So I was like, yeah, I think I got a couple. They in the closet. They was literally in the closet in a box, all the way at the bottom. <laughs> of the closet. I think I had like, I don't know, I'm gonna count them. I got like five. I had like five. So, these are the first five that I got. We got Buzz, so y'all can see his, he had a, whatever. He had a mask, whatever, a helmet. His helmet broke. <laughs> Shout out to Buzz. Um, let me do this quickly. Shout out to Vegeta, you know, Dragon Ball Z. Vegeta on deck. Then we got my man Chucky, the greatest horror film guy ever. I don't care what nobody said, because they're gonna say Jason and Michael Myers. It's Chucky. Um I got two more. Oh, dear. Come on, man. Come on. Come on, man. Ernie and Bert. Like, come on. It's just it's just a given. So I'm like, yeah, I got like five Funko Pops. I'm like, um, I'm not into them though. So like, man, you should, you know, you should get back into it. Like, they got a lot of cool stuff coming up. I'm just like, whatever. <clears throat> so, hanging out with Bear Rock Funko, you're going to buy Funko Pops. Like, I don't care if we at a basketball game. You get out the basketball game, he's going to say, let's go look for some Funko Pops. Or you before the basketball game, he's going to say, let's go look for some Funko Pops. So, fast forward, um, that was like two years ago, a year and a half ago. I think my collection is like at 280 now. From five to two eighty, that's ridiculous. But I guess y'all watch me on the camera. I got a camera, and I'm into photography, and so I like toy photography. I think toy photography is dope. So again, go check out my page, Shy by Mike C on IG. And again, I have a lot of Funko Pops that I haven't been able to make a video for. So I'm I'm gonna hit y'all with a lot of videos. I'm gonna try to because I got I think I'm off work was off work last night i'm off work tomorrow so i know a lot of these videos probably other pages are already reviewed but i want to review them so we're gonna get into it but again shout out to bedrock funko's um snapshot j my homie um king coley he ain't really into funko pops as much as he was but shout out to my funko pop homies all right so what i'm gonna review first all right I think that's what I'm gonna do first. I got Funko Pops everywhere. And again, I got a lot of sets that I wanna review. So, you can do it like this. And when it comes to sets, I buy what I like. 
I don't I won't buy the whole set if I don't want to. I'll just buy maybe half of the set. Like period. If you collecting Funko Pops if you want to, don't feel like you have to get the whole set. Like if there's one in a set that you don't want to get, don't get it. Cause that's what happened with this Toy Story set. So I see Bullseye. Shout out the Bullseye. Now this is Woody's horse. He got it in Toy Story 2. So I have Woody. Where is Woody at? I just saw him. Is he on the floor? Maybe I have to pause this and find Woody. But I got Woody, so I figured I had to get Bullseye. Um This is Nibbit. You know that's that's Buzz when he fell off the ledge and had the tea party. Had the cop. Um this, this is my first video. I know they're gonna be like trash for a while, so bear with me. But I'm just trying to do this real quick because I wanna knock out a whole bunch of videos today. Slinky dog. I mean, come on, it's a must. I had to I had to cop. Cause it's just I had to. Slinky dog. Bo Peep. Right. If you got Woody and Buzz in your collection, then you gotta get Bo Peep. Now I didn't get I didn't get um what Wheezy? I saw Wheezy. I saw Wheezy at the store the other day. And I think I, I feel like I'm missing somebody. Maybe I'm not. I saw Wheezy at the at the store the other day and I don't know, I just I didn't feel moved to get him. Like, if you think about the overall Toy Story movie, he was only in the movie for like five minutes when they found him behind the counter or found him behind that book or wherever the hell they found him at. So I just didn't feel compelled to buy homie. Like if you got Wheezy cool, you know, I don't know, but I didn't want him. <laughs> so I left him at the store. But I, I love Toy Story. Um, I have three Buzz Lightyears over here on the floor. I need to buy another one just to keep in the box because all those are supposed to stay in the box, but I took them out the box. I don't know why I just did. But Toy Story is just a dope, um, I ain't gonna say kids movie. It's just a dope movie, period. Like if Toy Story is not in your top five movies, then you're just an idiot and you need to reevaluate your life. But um, I couldn't pass. I, the funny thing is, um, they did a restock on Super Saiyan Gohan, and I was trying to buy Super Saiyan Gohan, so I ran to the ATM to put money into the ATM so I can buy it, and then I put it in my cart, and then when I tried to check out, they said it was sold out, so I was pissed. So I said, let me just go to, um, GameStop and just see what they got. I didn't pre-order these. I just so happened to go to GameStop and try to, uh, you know, just look around. I get to GameStop, and... The whole Toy Story, you know what I'm saying, set is in there. So, I mean, F it. I was like, I'm just going to buy it. Why not? Because, again, I'm into toy photography. So, I'm just thinking in my head what would be a dope shot. You know, what would be a dope picture. Or all that's in my head when I'm buying these Funko Pops. Like, I'm just trying. I'm thinking, I'm thinking pictures. I'm thinking shots. Like, I'm thinking, just trying to be creative because I can't draw. So, I've always wanted to draw. So, this is like the closest I think I'm going to get to recreating shots and pictures and whatnot. So, that's just my reasoning to collect no Funko Pops. And again, a lot of people are getting into Funko Pops who I would have never thought because they're making football players and making basketball players. Like, Funko covers every base. I feel like when I'm tired of spending the money... On Funko Pops, I turn around and then I get on Instagram and they done found another cool movie or cool TV show or anything to come out with a Funko Pop and they just rule me right back in. I'll be like, they're going another hundred dollars, just gone. And side note, as I stated earlier, I used to collect WWE Elite action figures. They were twenty dollars a pop. Funko Pops sometimes range from five dollars a pop to ten dollars a pop. So you gotta think. Now, I'm getting 
two Funko Pops for the price on one Elite action figure that I was. So I'm getting more bang for my buck. It's still a lot of money, um, you know, being invested. I ain't going to say it's being wasted because it is an investment because you know, I can sell these and get my money back. But, you know, I like it. So that's why I have a pile, a pile, a pile. Man, I, it's Funko Pops everywhere. If I was to show y'all my apartment, it's ridiculous. And I don't see it stopping on time soon. But, I mean, I guess that's it for my first video. Again, shout out to the Toy Story set. Wheezy, I left you at the store. I might go. I, I don't think I'm going back and get it. I mean, we'll see. I don't know. But look out for the pictures that I'm going to drop with the Toy Story set. Because I haven't did any yet. Because I want to do the video first. Um. So, yeah, man. If y'all haven't checked it out, check it out. Get y'all a oh, get y'all a little, you know what I'm saying? And look out for the movie with Toy Story 4 about to drop. I'm not, I don't care. I ain't taking no kids with me. I'm going to see it by myself. So, yeah. Comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Again, I'm turning this page into a Funko Pop review page. And this will be my Funko Pop page. I just have to change my name. I'll probably change it to Shop by Mike C. If YouTube let me, I don't know, but... I got the stupid name right now. Just subscribe anyway. If you haven't or already are subscribed. In a minute.